straight out to family law attorney Deborah Oprey. I know Deborah's as mad about this case as I am. A four-week-old left alone in a hotel room with a heart condition, no less, with a seven-year-old in charge. Are these people ever going to see their kids again, Deborah? I, I, they shouldn't. But, you know, unfortunately, in the family law cases, they always give the blood parents, natural parents, a second chance with rehabilitation, i.e., they have to get off of the drugs, they have to become responsible, go to parenting classes. But in this case, we have to set an example. The media has the power to start going after the governmental agencies and influencing the court system to say, you're done, you're finished. Parenting is not a, uh, a, a right, it's a privilege. You have to earn that yeah, privilege and, the, and earn that right. And, I'm and Deborah, angry. you make I'm a sorry. great point. We've I'm seen, angry. We, well, we see, no, we've seen the, the power of the media before, and this is a chance when people have to come forward and say, this will not be tolerated anymore. Get this, when hotel workers came to the room, the front door was propped open. Did I mention the room was on the 10th floor? We're told the hotel is not an extended stay hotel, so these people could not have been staying there for very long. But how does a room get in that condition without anybody noticing? Deborah, back out to you. I know you've got a lot of emotions in this case. Can you imagine this this room getting to be this kind of condi to this condition? I'll tell you what I see and why it's affecting me so bad. A seven-year-old boy feeling responsible for his 11-month-old brother and his four-week-old brother called the desk and said we're alone it was his cry for help these kids should never mm -hmm. go back to those parents and everyone out there put the pressure on the court system put the pressure on your local uh, family child services they have the power to say this will not be tolerated everybody should be the eyes and ears god bless that seven-year-old but he's got scars coming he's got scars yeah, and, and you know it's what, terrible. those mugshots say it all right there. I mean, I got to go to Brian Russell on this one. How does a parent convince themselves it's okay to leave babies in the care of young children? Well, Carlos, there's narcissism in it, there's self-centeredness, there's stupidity in it. And, you know, I think the media contributes to it, the entertainment media does, because these shows like the 16-year-old mom, they paint the picture for people that you can have a kid and you can still be going out and partying and doing drugs and doing your shopping and doing all the things that you want to do. And you can't. The kid is the number one priority. As a child custody expert in child custody cases, I agree with Deborah. I would never trust but these Brian, two to have hold custody on. of these Brian. Right, hold again. on. What you're you're right, you're blaming TV on this one. A loser is a loser is a loser and yeah, these parents are losers no, no, with or without no, no, any TV. I'm not this TV is all totally. this I'm is all about drug this is about drug addiction, guys. This is not about television. Yeah. This is about a simple case of a group of uh, two parents who do not have the ability to parent. There has to be a screening process. If these people have a record, if they're on drugs, people around them know, their family members know they're on drugs, report it. Get the kids out of there. Call family services. It's not difficult. Pick up the damn phone. Everybody hey, out here, you makes know a very, going through this. Deborah's making a very parents, good point I'd love to do because it. these... these Okay, but these these parents who are from North Dakota, they're in Orlando, and if you ask me, I talked to Deborah before, we're thinking it's about it's about the drug deal because he, the guy's found with a bag of crystal meth. I, we got 30 seconds. Brian, I want you to, I, I don't want to cut you off. I want you to explain yourself. I mean, you, you can't blame TV for this. Nobody's blaming TV. I'm just saying that the entertainment media has not helped in a situation like this, I believe. Okay. And as a child custody evaluator, I hate to see a situation where both of these kids' parents look incompetent and unfit to me. Cause what do you do then with All the kids? The you Department don't have a good option. All the Child Family Services, all of you out there who are no. witness to these mis-, uh, mis uh, abuse, call the Department you of Child and Family Services. you got to give props to the seven-year-old. Guys, job, we got to leave it right yeah. there. Yeah. I, I thank you. A I thank you guys for my himself. wonderful panel. You guys, great once again. Let's move on now. With all conditions of her probation, she's met regularly. She's had only clean tests and has been a uh, good probationer. But I certainly understand the reason that Ms. Myers is asking for probation to be revoked at this time. Well, a good probationer doesn't pick up a new case. <laughs> No. All right. Deborah Oprey, Lindsay's attorneys, tell us after seeing the police report, she thinks the case is defensible. What do you think, Deborah? 
Can you say credibility problems by the store owners and the employees <laughs> there? I can, and I will say it over and over again because the reality of the defense case is you challenge the credibility of the accusers. She was accused of taking something. I go over to Lindsay now. She returned it within 24 hours. Videotapes were turned in. The truth will be in the videotapes. However, if this goes to trial and I am the first person to say it should not, and it's going to be in the strength mm -hmm. of the defense and the arguments before it gets to a trial, the strength will be in the videotape and attacking the credibility of the store owners. And right now, there are gaping holes, and I would hang in there and say, this was not a crime, there was no intent. Okay? So you'd go to trial with this? <laughs> you would not, uh, you would I, not I plea on this, you'd go, go to trial? No, 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 no. What, what I want to be very clear about is it's not going to help Lindsay to go to a jury trial. It's not going to help her because she okay. is a problematic personality. However, it should be pled out, and this will be in the arguments of her defense attorneys to properly say you haven't got a case, credibility, uh, videotape shows no intent. That's what I'm arguing. Patty, let's uh -oh. go to Patty in Washington. Patty, what are your thoughts? Hi, Carlos. Um, I just think that, you know, Lindy's, Lindsay's been through a tough time. I mean, she complied with the treatment. She looks healthier. I think that this store just got a little overzealous. I think that they want their 15 minutes of fame. They're just a little boutique. They're nothing. I think that $2,500, she could buy and sell one of those 100 times. I, you know, Lindsay's trying, and it's not right. We need to stop dumping on Lindsay, okay? We need to start Deborah, encouraging okay, okay. her to keep... Yeah. We need to start yeah. encouraging uh, uh, you, you had, you know, Patty, program. you had me right there. Patty, you had me, and I agree with you that we need to be in her corner. And I, listen, I hope that I'm wrong. But, but Deborah, you're, you're, you're nodding your head. You agree with this. <laughs> listen, you have to see the big picture with Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan is on the, the way. She's testing clean. She's behaving herself. And somewhere, somebody comes out and says, She's behaving oh, herself. She she's back, in, she she's took, back in court she being took, accused of stealing. Says, Come on, Deborah. She took a break. Somebody says she took a, uh, a necklace. So what happens? She now has to defend herself, but she has not been falsely charged or charged prior to this. She has one felony charge right. for possession of a necklace. She's returned it. She's going to get out of this. I would love to represent somebody like Lindsay Lohan. All right, Lohan. Deborah, I got to cut you off. I appreciate your opinion. Thanks so much to my fantastic panel.